Hey everybody, welcome back. So as you can see here, we do have, I picked this up at Dollar General for $6. This is the American Seed Reusable Seed 72 Cell Seed Starter Set. And there's a lot of reasons why I did pick this up. One, it is reusable. Um, there's an outer tray that, that holds the water under there and then there's an inner tray so that the water drains out. And um, so, and again, like I said, this is 72 cells. So I had this all set up. Now, as a starter, I got my soil nice and moist first, and then I loaded all the cells up, and then I planted my seeds. Now, they are there are they're they're in, in sets of six, so essentially, you know. And the reason that I say that is because if you look on the back here, they actually have a nice little tray set up where you've got you know the trays of six, and then you know you can cut this out and you can use this now. As a reusing it, if you just, you know, if you have individual things in all of this, then this is a one-time use. However, what I like to do is um, I, apply, I put my soil in there, I plant my seeds, and I do them in sets of six. So I have six of each item in here. And so what I do is I just label for the first one, I, you know, this is uh, green beans, this is jalapenos, this is eggplant, this is cayenne, this is tomatoes, and this is bell peppers. So I don't know what color because there's kind of just like a random, you know, that could be red, yellow, green, who knows. Then I have sage, dill, oregano, cilantro, basil, and lemon balm. And so that way I have six of each, so I have a really good shot of some of them getting, of, of some of them getting sprouting. However... As far as some of the tips that I can give you when you use this, okay? So you wet your soil first, <coughs> and then you, you load your soil, and then I use like a disposable chopstick, and I put holes in each one. I drop the seed in it, and then I cover it up loosely. And then what I do is I cover it with a saran wrap. So that way you're not having to like keep watering it. It holds some moisture in there so that these, these can germinate. Now, as these start to germinate, once those once those leaves start popping up, you will remove the, the saran wrap. Um, you don't want them to be pushing up on the saran wrap or anything, and that's actually a tip that they have on the back of the, the box as well. But one thing, because without having like like the uh, like an identifier inside the tray itself, what I've done is you know I have my card here, right, and so. Obviously, the letters are up, so it's not this way. So the letters are up, right? Green beans. So what I've done is... Let's spin this around here real fast. If you look right here on this corner, I put a little piece of duct tape. That is always going to be the, the first cell on here. And so that way... And even if you don't have this, right? If you just have like a, a piece of paper... And you write down what, the, you know, and you just go, okay, so this is the first six, second six, and so on. You have this quarter marked, and that way you know that this is the green bean, this is the eggplant, okay, this is the lemon balm. You know exactly what's sprouting, and you can, you can go that route. And the nice thing about this one, though, is that once, once it's sprouted, and these things all can break up, these, these can break into, into their individual sections of six as well. They're not there yet, they're all just one piece, because it's something like, you know, this is my first time using this particular tray. But once these come out, you can just kind of squeeze the squeeze the cells from the bottom and the soil will loosen up so you can you can transplant these in, into your next size pots. So um, yeah, so just a couple little you know, just a couple little tips to help you have a make when you're reusing something like this so that you can get the best use out of it. Mark a corner and then you always start planting on that corner so when you plant it. You're going to be on this side of it here, and then you, you plant in this order. And then that way, when you, when you mark your list down, you know exactly what sprouts are, are in each one. Because a lot of times, the, the sprouts, until they, until they get to be larger plants, they might look very similar. And this way, you can, you can definitely keep things organized, because organization is extremely important. So anyway, yeah. So that's pretty much that. That's, that's, a, that's, that's the gardening tip for this week. You know, mark the corner. And that way you know what seeds you have in what spot. So well, I'm hoping to get a lot. I'm hoping, hoping to get some germination going here before our next video. Um, one thing, 
Uh, there are, I, do, I do have a couple more items that I want to talk about when it comes to hunting. We're also going to talk about some snares later on in the year. But one thing, it is starting to... Uh, the, the leaves and the plants are starting to get green outside right now. And so we are going to be able to get outside and actually start doing some wild foraging here soon. I've already, I've already scouted out a couple locations where we're going to go. And we can talk about um, when, you, when you are scouting out wild locations for foraging, what to look for. So and if you like this sort of thing, if you, if, you know, if you want to get these little gardening tips or foraging tips or hunting tips, this might be a good channel for you to check out at least you know a few times. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up, leave me a comment, and go ahead and share this out. Uh, we, uh, you know, I, I appreciate all the comments. I try to, I've gotten a lot better. I do try to reply, uh, at least acknowledge each of your comments. Um, but yeah, so until then, keep prepping.